ப்ரொடக்ட் ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபி ப்ரொடக்ட் ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபி ஒன் ஆஃப் த மேஜர் கேட்டகரி இன் த ப்ரொடக்ட் ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபி ஃபீல்ட் பிகாஸ் வென் பீப்புள் நீட் டு ஷோ கேஸ் தேர் ப்ரொடக்ட் இன் டு த எண்ட் கஸ்டமர் தே ரீலி நீட் ப்ரொடக்ட் ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபி பிகாஸ் வித் ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் ப்ரொடக்ட் ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபி தே கேன் ஷோ கேஸ் த ப்ரொடக்ட் இன் எக்ஸலன்ட் மேனர் அண்ட் டுடே ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு ஷோ யூ ஏ எக்ஸலன்ட் ப்ரொடக்ட் ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபி அண்ட் தட்ஸ் வாட் யூஆர் சீங் ரைட் நவ் அண்ட் Welcome to my channel. I am Anup here. Today in this video I am going to explain four topics. The first one is product photography, second one is the light painting, third one image stacking and the final one is long exposure photography. So with the help of all these things we are going to create this image. And to capture this image I used Sony Alpha A73 and the lens is 2470 f4 and because of long exposure we really need a tripod and i'm going to edit this image in with help of adobe photoshop okay so let's get into the more detail about this topic so the first thing is creating the environment so for that what i did i kept my shoe in the right angle and right direction because like it's a running shoe so i need to create that kind of pose into my product so for that i used the small plastic chair and a small cup over there you can see in the below there is a small cup and the backdrop i used is a black cloth okay that's what just setting up the environment the next is light painting so to create the light painting i used cigarette lighter and with help of cigarette lighter flame i create the light lines okay while drawing those lines i have to make sure that at the end of the every flame i'll stop the flame and i'll start the flame when i'm drawing the new line so advantage of that i'll get the more controlled light otherwise what will happen all the light information fall into my subject and sometime my subject may look more bright so i don't want that kind of effect into my images so this is how we'll do the light painting with help of cigarette lighter or any other light maybe you can use a led or you can use small torch whatever you want but here i need to have the fire effect that's the reason i used cigarette lighter but to capture the light painting effect we need another technique called long exposure photography so for that what i did i kept my camera on my tripod and i set the angle my subject on the table or chair subject also doesn't have any kind of movement and what i will do i request my camera to wait for 30 seconds to capture the image camera will capture all the information during that time and it will save into the photograph also here i will get 30 seconds to do the light painting and there is a one more thing actually when you are doing the light painting there should not be any external light because if i am using any external light what will happen my subject will get more light information end of the day my photograph may go for brighter image only with the help of cigarette flame light i am going to capture this image so i'll get a um, uh, very controlled light over here for that what i am going to do i am going to switch off my light and i am going to draw the path or line see now that's what you're seeing right now I switch off the my light and i am going to i'm drawing the line see this is how camera will understand the subject i'm creating multiple lines over there okay so all these when you when i'm drawing all these lines camera will get some color information also some light information with help of that camera will capture all the subject end of the day your image will be something like this and all the light information is given by the the particular cigarette light flame so but look at the image it is not the final output what i show to you it it is totally different so how can you make the same thing so that is the next question so for that what i am going to do i am going to capture multiple images with the help of the same technique and i will get different set of photos and all these photos i am going to combine with the help of photoshop that particular process is called image stacking and finally you will get this image coming more detail into the exif of this image so uh, here you can see the image is captured with help of 30 seconds the f value i used for that is enough for me 80, 88 mm focal length i used okay but when you comes to iso i used 
okay because if you increase the iso into 200 or uh, 300 so what will happen camera will create more light information in the photograph so i don't want uh, more light information so that is the reason i used 50 iso so this is the basic concept and exif of this particular photograph now what we will do we will start creating this image with the help of photoshop okay so for that what i'm going to do i am going to open this image in photoshop here now i selected four image different images for the editing this is the first one this is the second one this is third one and this is the fourth one okay now i'm going to combine all these images into single image so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to just copy this image copy and just paste it and i'm going to close remaining all the images now we have all the images in the single document now we need to start editing so before that what i will do i just unlock this layer and i'll create new layer and just drag it and drop it down and i'll fill black color now after creating the uh, background layer what i'm going to do i'm going to edit the first layer so for that i'm going to disable remaining all the layer and i'm going to select the first layer in the first layer i need only this line the big line which is going the left to right i don't want the small small light informations over here also i need to remove the chair and all the background over here okay so we'll we'll see how we can do that actually to remove all these things select laser tool and edit fill content away there are some information over here but here everything is removed what i will do control d in my keyboard and select clone stamp tool and increase the brush size with the help of open bracket and copy the pixels from here with the help of alt button and i'm just painting over here just increase the opacity see this is how we are going to remove entire thing okay so i'll show you how we can do with that okay here with the help of clone stamp tool i am just mixing those pixels and removing the patches over here okay Now we have finished with the first layer basic touch up and now I am going to open the second image. So in this image I am going to remove all these lines. I am going to select only these two lines. Okay. So for that layer and layer mask. Okay. Then I am going to take a brush tool and make sure that foreground color is black. I am going to increase my opacity and I am just going to paint it over here. So the second image is created. Now like that I am going to do the remaining images.
now the final one okay now we have finished with almost everything and also you can you could able to see lot of patches over here so the final stage i'm going to remove all these things so for that i'm going to use the same clown stamp tool and mask so let's see how can we do that so i'm going to select the individual layers over here and i'm going to uh, check it out which, which layer having the problem now we have almost done now i need to control light information so for that what i going to do uh, i'm going to select adjustment layer and levels and i am going to reduce that okay little bit and now everything is reduced i don't want like that so select the mask area and i am going to paint it over here And again, I will select one more adjustment layer, brightness and contrast. So this is for like outer portion of the image. Okay. And again, I will select the mask layer. I select wherever I need the more light information. Okay. The final thing is like importing the watermark into this image. Now we have imported the watermark into this, and I am placing in the right position now we finished with our final output okay so now we have finished everything so let's uh, recap of everything what i have done so what i did i selected four photos that's what you are seeing right now first photo i used to get the light information of the top part of the shoe and also i used the line second image i used to get the light information over here uh, remaining everything i removed from the image the third image i used to get the light information over here and including the top part of the shoe okay remaining everything i rem removed with help of mask and and the final thing i used is this image or the in this i used these two behind lines because the product is like basically using for the running purpose so to get the more energy kind of feel i used this plane so okay. okay so coming back to the photoshop uh, i just uh, disabling all the layer this was the first layer and i removed almost unwanted things and second layer i just kept only these two things and the third i used only these two planes and fourth you could able to see that this light information some other light information over here finally i have done small adjustment with help of adjustment layer okay the level and the brightness and contrast is adjusted the final thing is i added watermark into this okay once again thank you for watching this video also if you are not subscribe my channel kindly subscribe my channel and click bell button over there i'll be back with another amazing video for you see you bye